Are you a leader, business owner, trying to create a more inclusive workplace? My biggest piece of advice to you is to stop with accommodations. Now I'll try to get this next part in before all the uh, finger warriors finish those long paragraphs right now. But I don't mean not having a workspace that's inclusive, but rather that accommodations tend to be about making the individual fit into the existing systems, which are generally all built around able-bodied neurotypical individuals. And so instead, as a leader, what I encourage you to do is to question many of the things that you hold to be sort of inalienable truths about how your organization or business should even be run. The structures underneath that generally stay the same while you accommodate individuals for being different in some way. For example, are the specific roles that you've assigned, the jobs, the titles, actually the ones that your business has to have? Or are those just the ones that have been there the whole time because that's what we're all used to? Are the various rules and regulations, things like what hours to hold or where to be when you do your work, actually necessary for the particular tasks that need to be completed? Or is there flexibility in changing those rules and regulations? See, so often when we're in a leadership position, we get used to holding the underlying structures in place, even when they're not just or even helpful for the business itself. And then we try to accommodate around those structures for individuals who can't actually function within those structures. And the more that we question underlying systems and try to make change, I think the better all of our workplaces are going to be.